My name is Lindsay Cernu, and this is On Air with Heritage Action, a podcast built for conservatives. Twice a week, we break down in five-ish minutes or less how you can get involved today in the fight for conservative values. Today, we've got a breaking news report about how Heritage Action uncovered critical race theory being taught in Georgia public schools and how you can find out if critical race theory is being taught in your children's classroom. So you may have seen that article from The Federalist detailing how and what we exposed here. It made a good bit of noise on social media, actually, over the weekend. In fact, Nicole Hannah-Jones, that pro-CRT founder of the New York Times 1619 Project, she even came after us for it. So here's the full story. Let's start with what we were actually able to uncover in that story out of Gwinnett County, Georgia, home to the largest public school district in the state. So we found a class syllabus literally admitting plans to teach high school students to examine class assignments through the lens of critical race theory. That's what it said, critical race theory right there in the text. So the syllabus read, end quote, students will bridge the skills from AP language to AP research, analyzing the value of using different lenses in social criticism, critical race theory, feminist, Marxist, psychoanalytic, to aid their analysis across issues. And the class will discuss how these perspectives apply to the different methods used by research fields. Right there in that syllabus, which is hosted on Gwinnett County Public Schools website, was an explicit plan to teach CRT to Georgia high school students. But the story doesn't end there. So here's the kicker. Actually, just a few days after the audit syllabus was discovered by Heritage Action's um, research team, Gwinnett County erased the PDF from their website. Of course. Now, for months, the left has claimed that CRT is not being taught in public schools, but we have definitive proof in the state of Georgia. What's really interesting, though, is that this cover-up from Gwinnett came just weeks after State Representative Brad Thomas introduced a bill that would stop the promotion of critical race theory in Georgia public schools. But, so importantly, HB 88, excuse me, 888, which is a great bill that Heritage Action and our activists in Georgia support, It also requires transparency in our classrooms. So a list of different titles and authors used in the classroom would be published online. Parents would also be able to receive the actual material in full at the school if they wanted to go in person and look at it. So the bill would have played a major role in exposing the syllabus long before Heritage Action started looking into it. But anyways, back to Gwinnett County. They got caught and now they're trying to hide it. It's a classic pattern of this lie, deny, and erase. The left lies about critical race theory being taught, then they deny it when confronted with the proof, and now they're trying to erase the evidence. Look, we know that there's more out there that hasn't been uncovered. School districts across the country have documents that reference CRT being taught in K-12 classrooms, but it really just takes the work to uncover it. That's why we're calling on you to help destroy the left's lies and narratives here. Look into your own town school board and see what they're talking about behind closed doors. See if there are any materials that really reference this racist ideology. And I promise it's a lot easier than it seems. So the first step, as always, know what you're talking about. We've got to be able to define CRT and learn more about what's, how it's being taught in schools, how the left's covering up, all that stuff. So you can go to crtbook.com, and then there you're going to download our ebook, which tells you what to look for and how to spot CRT. The next step is very important. So you're going to submit an open records request to your school district to find digital correspondence from public officials that reference CRT. Sounds a little complicated, but saveourschools.com slash resources has a step-by-step guide for submitting those open records requests. So each state has laws in the books that really require a system that gives citizens access to government documents and meetings. So it's a lot easier than it seems. A pro tip, though, if you hit a dead link with deleted materials, which you probably will, we actually have a tutorial on how to uncover those previously deleted documents on CRT at that same web page, saveourschools.com slash resources. So that's your action item for this week. Get involved in the fight to end CRT by first just looking into your school board and see if they're discussing CRT. We want to make sure that you are equipped as well as possible in this fight against critical race theory so we can weed it out from our public school system. So as always, go to saveourschools.com to learn more. That's it for another episode of On Air with Heritage Action. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what you heard in today's episode, please click the follow button. If you want to receive a text message each time a new episode airs, text podcast to 5 and you'll never miss an episode. 
That's podcast to 51776. Hi, it's me again, and we need your help. If you like the insights and activist resources that we're providing, please take just one minute and help us spread the word. So follow, like, subscribe, and share this episode of On Air with Heritage Action with your friends and family on social media or even over email or text. We need your help to get others involved in the fight to hold Washington accountable. And don't forget, you are also able to subscribe to the show on your favorite podcasting app on your smartphone. So in app, you're going to search for On Air with Heritage Action and subscribe so you can download episodes and listen on the go. It's the best way to make sure you never miss a thing. Thanks.